This is the mission which Pope Francis gave us when he confirmed the universal apostolic preferences. These were the fruit of a spirit-led discernment by the universal apostolic body. Illuminated by them, we put into practice the mission of reconciliation and justice to which the 36th General Congregation invites us. The crisis is showing us that we are one humanity. Every human being, every people, each culture is part of this one varied, rich and interdependent humanity. It is showing us that there is no difference in age, race, religion or social status when we are one humanity. Starting by putting what we are ourselves one in a second place and accepting the measures and sacrifices that allow us to contribute to the good of all. God is a, a tricky word because of how, which, what, which God are we talking about? No, I have several gods in, the, in, our, in our world. So if we are talking about the God of Jesus Christ or the God that Jesus Christ revealed us, so we have to see Jesus Christ. And how is the, the, the most uh, uh, profound and uh, deep uh, image of God that Jesus gave us, the cross. Jesus in cross. Jesus given uh, him life for the life of us. There is God. If we are able to really contemplate and get touched by the contemplation of Jesus in cross, we will find the crucified people today. the crucified of this uh, moment of the pandemic and the injustice of the world. And we will find God. God is there. God is asking us uh, to do something, to give our life so that people can have life. Thank you. People, humanity is only one humanity. All of us, all of us are loved by God. And we are loving them with the love of God. And we have to be really near there. We accompany their life as they are. We don't make differences. So I think but the, the uh, way we show the path uh, to God is to be just aside the people, really in touch, loving them. Do you have suggestions to help us turn this crisis into permanent, not temporary and reactionary changes? Really don't forget that this is not uh, also an accident. It's not an accident in the COVID-19. It's the fruit of a, a way of how human beings has uh, understand and have made their own relationship. And it's a confirmation of our mission to collaborate, to contribute in the change of this world. And I think uh, we can show the people through reflecting about the COVID-19, the fragility of the world we have created you know, and, and how we need really to get together so we can go in another way. I don't think so that after the crisis, uh, things are going to change like this. You know? There are so many interests behind this and so many we are so uh, used 
to the West. We, we are dreaming to come back to our normality. No? We, we are dreaming to, to just live as we were before uh, the, the virus uh, came to our life. But that's, that's the, the great temptation. So to take an opportunity of this crisis is to be aware that uh, something can, has to change because really we are in a, in a very fragile structure of human uh, relationship and life. So don't forget this crisis. Not just, okay, that was a, a bad night, a nightmare. No, and we are awake again and we are again in our life as before, no? No, we have to take the, the, the lesson that if we don't change after this, the next one will be worse.